Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today I thought I would just make a quick video doing an update and a refresh on angel signs. We have become completely different beings. We are in a different frequency. How we perceive angel signs, we're being asked to kind of upgrade here, okay? <laughs> so if you are just on the path of your awakening, I will not be going through every number sequence and explaining all of that. I do have another video though that you can check out. Get on over there and start there and then come on back here. But if you're already fairly familiar with one of the major angel signs, which is number codes, okay? We are coded, right? And so when we see these things, there is a bit of an activation that happens. Now we have done, a lot of us have done immense change for ourselves in the collective since 2020. Started cracking open at the end of 2019 and here we are. So they're using the term imprinting, imprinting. Now this is not something where angels do not take you over. They do not go against your free will. But if you are open to it, you're probably going to still be seeing number codes, but the number codes that you see, it's giving you a message. Yes, again, check out that other video, but it's going to be really imperative to sit with it and not just take it in intellectually or even just in the heart space, but what is the frequency that starts to get activated? So the imprinting is with your permission, of course, right? and working with the angels of God's purest love and light. That's how I like to put it because there, are, there is darkness out there. So you want to be very careful with that. But what is the frequency that starts going out and what then are you seeing ping back to you. Here's an example. I could be sitting here, like maybe I turn on a television show and I see a number code. I've been maybe seeing a number code all day and I'm feeling that frequency that's going out and I'm just thinking, hmm, that's a cool synchronicity. And then somebody on TV says synchronicity. Or that happens to me a lot, actually. <laughs> I'm just thinking something and someone says it says the exact words. Or again, you could just keep running across number codes or being woken up, especially at that time or with some variation of those numbers. So it's not, again, it's not just about how fun is this? Let me look that up and see what that means. Um, you know, again, do that. I mean, it's fun, but they're, they're asking us to go a little bit deeper, to not just stop at the surface and let that have, we don't want it to be fortune telling. That's what it is, okay? So when something gets imprinted, maybe it's a lesson that we have come through and now we need to be imprinted with a little bit of courage and a little bit of faith that will activate something in us, okay? It might bring to the surface what needs to go away, what you need to come through. Does that make sense? So pay attention to those types of things and watch how you start to be more in the flow as you're recognizing the signs. Now, lots of people love to say things like, and this happens to me too, where I'm just, you know, thinking of an angel or I'm talking to my guardian angel. And then I see what we as humans have put <laughs> as an image on angelic beings. I usually just see them as piercing light, but, um, you know, you will often see like a cutout of an angel or like an angel pops up or there's an angel wing on something, you know, um, you know, it's not as if those signs go away necessarily, but I think for a lot of people, it's going to start becoming commonplace actually, because what's happening when these number codes are coming at us, you know, if you're in your awareness, you'll feel kind of where that's happening, or you'll have an instinct, an intuition hit, if you will, <laughs> about what part um, of you you're supposed to open up and awaken, okay? Again, hang with me. And as you awaken that part, more and more things start to light up in your life. So again, this could be where you putting, kind of think of like full moon energy, right? So it's like a light gets shined on something that still needs to be healed, or you start to have self realizations one after another. And as you're having these realizations and you're realizing you can let things go, you start seeing, oh, there's an opportunity that just opened up. Ah, okay. I've been fighting to get down this road when I'm supposed to be going down 
this road. So as I'm saying this, it's really imperative that we <laughs> allow that process to happen without the ego consciousness taking over. This can really get our wires crossed where I, I use the example all the time. Years ago, I was getting the, like the really fun uh, verifications. Check out my How I Met Archangel Gabriel video. And there were just all these signs everywhere. And I'm like, this is so cool. I'm in that, you know, spiritual high kind of place. And then I felt like I got the message of you're going to write books. There will be three of them. And I got so excited. I'm like, I'm going to be an author. This is going to be amazing. Well, I wrote the three books. And at least thus far, unless I go back and do a rewrite on some of them, it was for therapy. <laughs> It was for therapy. And I remember I got kind of upset and I came back to Gabriel and I said, I thought you said I was going to like be an author. And the message back was, I never said you were going to be an author. I said, you were going to write three books and they were going to be very imperative to your growth. So you see how we can take the ego and run away with it. We want to really bring it into the earth realm or someone uh, might be trying to put a vibe out there to draw in love. You're trying to attract in love and maybe you start thinking of someone and you could in your ego go, that's the one for me, when really it's not. It's just someone that you haven't tied up all the loose ends with. You haven't finished out all of the lessons. And so you need to go down that road and you know heal up from whatever happened there before you can bring love in. As we start to awaken, I, I did approach this in some weekly videos, but we are breaking through what is what has always been the veil. I guess I could put it that way. Or breaking into uh, the narrative that has been this grid, this netting around us. And as the years go on and we keep sort of getting activated through these angel signs and we're allowing and kind of flowing with that process, upgrading right? Our systems, I guess. I, I don't know how, it's a very human way of putting it, but that's what I got right now. Uh, once we start breaking that veil apart or that grid, that net, however you want to describe it, we start to remember. We start to remember ourselves. You will start to see old structures fall. You will see that there's a lot of reform. You will see the people taking their power back. Okay. A lot of sovereignty we're going to see that sort of shift. The problem we have right now, and the message I wanna bring through is just a reminder that many of us on this planet are still waiting for things outside of us to change before we change inside of ourselves. It cannot be done that way. We will not accomplish anything. So, you know, hate is just going to draw in more hate, no matter what you stand for. Love and understanding is going to break us free, all right, and get us down the path of peace. Many of us are not gonna get that because we think if we put our energy into changing things, then that will then give us free reign to change within us. No, that's what those codes are for. That's what the angel signs are. It's not just surface level anymore, guys, <laughs> all right? Um, the, the surface level stuff, that was initially just to get you kind of used to the frequency of angels and archangels. And now I think many of us, you don't have to actually say that you work with angels or you talk to your angel or whatever, but if you're um, just in this love space and you're following your intuition, again, I have lots of atheists who watch my channel. You know, you have a different terminology for what happens in that process. Does not matter as long as the process is loving, peaceful, harmonious, you're doing the job. Okay, <laughs> you're doing what is required. So the next time you see an angelic sign, a synchronicity, something a little weird, I was just thinking that and it came on the radio or you see these number codes, again, it's not just going to be 1111 and 444 and 777 and all that. You're gonna start seeing these more complex codes. All right, take it in, let it settle whatever part of your body it's going to settle in Pay attention to it, again, without overthinking it and see what the frequency feels like that comes back to you, all right? If you get an angelic sign and you go through this whole process of kind of feeling it out, but you're still not sure like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? You can always go into meditation. I have lots of meditations all over my channel. Go into meditation and just sit with it. 
you will have your realizations because it's no longer the message having to go through the brain and then, okay, now I know what to do with it, but rather it's a knowing. It's a full body, full electromagnetic field knowing. All right. Leave your comments down below. Let me know where you want to take this discussion and we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.